Welcome everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Toho Soccer 2, or rather Let's Play Together Toho Soccer 2. I'll someday remember that part. Alright, um, I'm actually recording this on Friday, but um, for the most part there was a question about my scheduling of how this, how often I'm going to be doing these videos, um, just to clarify once more. Um, Sunday is when I, the video is going to come up, that's when uh, the votes will be open. Saturday is when I technically will close the votes and start recording. The only reason I'm doing it now on Friday uh, simply because, well, I can. If for some reason there uh, there are votes on set uh, tomorrow that cause me to actually change something, I will re-record it. It's not a big deal. I'm I'll have saves for pretty much every match, so it's not that big of an issue. All right. Um, so far, I've had nine uh, nine suggestions. Um, six of those were for Arakari Miko. Two were for Lanasa, and one was for Kokuma. Um, originally I was thinking about maybe just doing random rolls and then having whatever duplicates come up just be a pass, but doing so would kind of just deny someone their, uh, their vote. So in this case, the fact of the matter there is there's three options, I said I was going to take at most three options if I can afford it, and all th I can afford the three options that are available. So I will go ahead and buy Hakure Miko, Lunasa, and Koakuma. Um, no one was interested in any of the items, uh, and there wasn't really any items worth taking except maybe the silver knife which I would only take if I had like Moko or someone. Um, besides that um, I think that's about it. Um, I'm not going to list all the names. Um, some of you guys have been including like uh, reasons of why you're picking certain characters. Uh, that's completely fine. Uh, personally it doesn't matter to me because I'm just going to take whatever you guys pick. But uh, it does let your, uh, it lets the other viewers know why you're picking certain options so they can be a little bit more aware of what uh, sort of theme you're going for, if anything. So, let's go ahead and get this going. Hakuri Miko, you had six votes, so let's go with that. With the power of Hakuri on our side, no one can stop us. Lanasa? Hmm, nice to meet you. And Koakuma. Alright, for now, let's tease someone with candy. Sounds good, Koakuma. Also, I'm not too concerned about having too many people on my team. Uh, for those who are who have seen me do uh, my other Let's Plays with this, um, you can have more than your standard um, 11 players. They just end up being put on the uh, substitute section onto the right there. So let's go ahead and take care of all that. Uh, what level do you guys start at? Like? Level 1, fantastic. Alright. So here we go. Lanasa. Lanasa is the one that actually has a special pass. All of our other abilities requires the other sisters. So there you go. We'll go ahead and uh, change her position. Where can you go? You go there. And Kokuma. Kokuma's stats are. Let's see. Lanasa. Yeah, Lanasa specializes in passing. The rest of her stats are kind of average. Still better than the generic though. Um, same thing for Kokuma. Kind of low low stats, but decent pass, shoot, and tackle. So she's kind of okay in defense. And that's about it. She does have a special pass though. Uh, actually, funny enough, I think everyone in my team except for Odonj and Cerno have uh, special passes. That is a lot of special passes. And of course, last but not least, let's first take a look at her. Alright. This is Hakuri Miko. Essentially her stats are practically the same as um, Reimu's. Um, she just doesn't have as many special abilities. She's also reasonably quick. Um, for the most part, uh, most, of the, most of the people that picked uh, Hakari Miko wanted it for the combination plays. So I'll definitely be taking advantage of that whenever I can. Um, it's, twin Shot is actually pretty efficient, especially for these two characters, simply because they don't have a, they don't have you know things like Fantasy Heaven or um, or Master Spark. So, or what was that other move? Was it? Uh, Master Blade, or whatever it's called. Anyway, change positions. So now we actually have a really good shot that we can use air balls for. So I think I'll go ahead and stick with uh, double wingers. And we'll go ahead and change our position. Miko, yeah, you'll handle uh, that section. And yeah, you do have a special. And we do have a um, combination 1 2 as well if you need to. Also, Hakuri Miko actually has an overhead clear, which um, Reimu doesn't actually have, which is kind of interesting. So, okay. I think that's about it. Uh, for right now, I'll go ahead and hold on to the maids. Actually, you know what? I don't need them. Um, if you 
put them in the substitute section and then you press the C key, you could dismiss them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that because we don't need these maids. Uh, do make sure you unequip their item because I'm not sure if they take the item with them or not. Alright, uh, our opponents are nothing but generic so there's nothing much, much else to say, I think. I'm just making sure I have everything. Okay. So yeah, Kokuma and Lanasa are going to be in the kind of in the midfield defense position. Uh, Xerna will still be on full defense. Uh, I'll use Miko and Odonj as wingers and Marissa is going to lead the charge. Alright, let's go ahead and kick off. Alright. The maids only have, um, they have a slightly higher tackle and everything than their other skills, but other than that, they're pretty standard. Of course, you guys already know this, because I already have maids. Alright, um... Tackle. Awesome. Alright, we're just gonna run you through. Stradivarius. Oops, that was my bad. I'll just do a yin yang pass. Oh, a low ball. Uh, the thing about the special twin shot, you have to get a low ball. If it's a high ball, it won't work. Uh, I'll go ahead and do twin shot, it's not a big deal. Ah, great Miko, that's a mouthful. That does, uh, combination moves, for those who don't know, actually use up guts on both players, or all players involved. So in that case, that cost 120 for both uh, Miko and Marissa. It's kind of the disadvantage of um, combination moves. But um, the only requirement for actually activating the move is the person that uses the combination move has to have the guts, uh, the amount of guts to actually, you know, use the ability. So, for example, if Hakure Miko had zero guts and um, Marissa had 120, I can still do the combination shot. It just won't do anything for Hakure Miko and just drain the rest of uh, Marissa's guts. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do intercept. Yay for extra speed. Unfortunately, I'm getting a little stuck. Um, dribble. Good work. Yin Yang Orb Attack. <laughs> I like how it's a foot, an actual, you know, American football. Whoa, that didn't work. Kokuma! Nope. Guess I was just a little too far away. I don't know. Miko is at level 1, so her stats are a little low. Normal defense. Okay. I'm just seeing what what my uh, if I had any special moves or special uh, uh, team commands. <laughs> awesome rook number two. All right, let's get going. Frame rate. I really need to actually use team commands when I'm doing this because I can actually increase my dribble. 
I'm being a bit sloppy. Thank you, sir, now. Perfect freeze! This is zero decay, but it's not very powerful shot. But it does it does the job. All right, let's keep going. That's what we get for having a generic goalkeeper. Not a big deal though. But yeah, if you're um, using double winger, I would suggest using wing attack. Uh, what that does is anyone that's running along the sidelines uh, gets an additional two plus 10 to their dribble. It doesn't cost anything to do, so it's, a, it's essentially just a free um, stat increase. Uh, the AI uh, does it all the time. Pretty much, it's, there's a, practically no reason not to use it. One shot. Doing this wacky passing back thing again. It's actually a pretty good move because it gets you around a lot of defenses. I don't know how they managed to pass further than possible though. That's the only thing that kind of throws me off. So much for that. Yeah, not good. This is gonna go in. Goal post. Okay, there's a cat in front of me. I can't see. <laughs> One moment. Annie, you're adorable, but you need to get off the table. Or desk, or whatever it is. Intercept, tackle. Wow, that was... Well, I got my border of death. <laughs> wow. 
finally. Question is, can I go far enough? No. God, Marissa recovers so quickly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I got gypped. Oh well. Where's Sam? Marissa recovers so so quickly that that 120 guts cost isn't too bad at all. Good. Uh, it's a high ball, but that's alright. Pretty mediocre first half. Oh, that worked. Try this again. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Miko's gonna be out of guts, but whatever. It's easy enough to recover guts to at least be able to pass. I mean, it's only 20 guts. 40 if y'all wanna do it special. I don't know if uh, both characters get the experience. I'm pretty sure it's just the person that initiates the um, team maneuver. But who knows. So both shots uh, Miko attempted failed, but that's alright. She's been intercepting the ball quite a bit though. It's our only shot that actually has a cutscene. Slightly shaky. Oh. Seems to be that trend. We had that trouble last time too. Just keep hitting the goalpost. And it's completely random, so there's nothing you can really do about it. Try the scan. I'll go ahead and skip it this time. Wow. I know I know the shot's not that strong, but oh, come on. <laughs> I've never had that happen before.
Wow, that's amazing. A freaking generic intercepted the shot. I mean, the generic is like three levels higher than a dodge, but still, it's ridiculous. It's just really bad luck. And my generics somehow are more capable at stealing the ball than my any of my other characters. Whatever, I'll go with it. At least I'm winning. Okay, low ball. The uh, the Ray Mumarissa combination shot is practically the same one as this one. All right, let's go ahead and resume. Looks like Marissa is just going to be our only person scoring goals because I mean I've tried using the other characters, it just hasn't hasn't worked out. Actually, Cerna has scored a goal. I forgot. I bet the other two feel horrible at that fact. Alright, goalkeeper. Stay. Full divinity. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, it worked. Might have been safer to just do the special uh, intercept instead, but hey, it worked out. Yeah, so Don just practically out of guts already. That's okay. it just doesn't get tired. As long as I'm using things like Twin Shot, I'm alright. It only costs 40 extra and it's a lot more, it's even stronger than her regular shot, which is pretty good. Would like to level up the other characters though. Maybe I shouldn't, shouldn't have gotten rid of those uh, three generics. I should have just kept them forever. Um, I think you can still do a pass even without guts, but I'm not going to risk it. Ball, huh? Now this shot actually tires it out pretty quickly. Oh come on! How many times have I hit the goalpost? Like what, three, four times now? Tackle, intercept. Tackle. Low ball, good. Injury time. Oh, time out. Really got chipped in that match. <laughs> But I mean, we won 7 to 1, so I can't exactly complain. Light Orchestra versus Team Small Fries! Okay, players have leveled up. Marissa, Maid, Hakure, Miko, Maid. Essentially everyone but our goalkeeper. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, we got 6,618 6, go uh, gold. Ah! Um, this is something. There are ra there's actually random events in this uh, in travel mode. 
Uh, sometimes uh, players will come requesting to join your team, which is pretty awesome because it's essentially a free player. And then sometimes Maribel will actually have a strange dream like this. I had a strange dream yesterday. When I woke up, I was holding this. Can it be you, maybe? Homing Ying Yang Orbit obtained. Awesome. I think I believe I know what that does, which I'll quickly go over in a second. Briefing. The opponents are an alliance of stage 1 bosses. They aren't much by themselves, but are troublesome together. Try to steal the ball before they can get it. So yeah, our opponents are Rumia, Wriggle, and Letty. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, our, and the generics are level 5 fairies. So yeah, nothing too shabby. Um, the main characters are level 7, which is pretty up there. Uh, Marissa is level 6 already. Um, everyone else is level 2, with the exception of Odonj, who is level 3. So yeah, Marissa is quickly getting up there in the levels. Um, so let's quickly... I'll go over what our opponents are first. Rumia, forward for the Twilight Dark Light. She has a high fake stat, and our special move Demarcation is strong. Uh, yeah, Demarcation actually has really good stats. Uh, the problem is she has a power of 1, kind of the same issue that Sarno has. Uh, Volleyfication is pretty good as well, and Twilight Dance is a combination move that she can't do right now. Uh, Nightbird is a special fake, um, which goes along with her high fake stat, so she's one of those characters that can actually really unbalance the goalkeeper if you let her, but that's not exactly something you can rely on. Um, Wriggle, a bug yokai, specializes in flying kicks, high offensive ability in the air, above all her strength is in it, her challenges. Uh, so she, yeah, she has a... She has a reasonably high challenge. Uh, I think Bugstorm... Yeah, I think she can use Bugstorm. Bugstorm is our special challenge, which I've never really seen her use. Uh, Firefly Phenomenon is a special tackle, but she has to ha be with uh, Rakako in order to do it, which uh, there's pretty much no reason to ever have Rakako, but whatever. Um, and Wriggle Kick is a special air kick. That It's decent. It's good enough to get past generic goalkeepers. So if she uses it, I'm probably not going to be able to stop the shot. Uh, besides that, uh, Letty, a defender who has been blessed with a sturdy physique. Excels in defensive ability and also skilled with high balls. Um, her special shot is just a combination shot with Cernow. Uh, what else? Linger and Cold are really good special pass that she has, and both Table Turning and Undulation Ray are both very good special intercepts and special tackles. Uh, Letty's very cheap, and she's actually like one of the best defenders in the game. And if you have her with, along with Cerno, it makes Cerno even better. So yeah, pretty awesome. Goalkeeper level 6. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, we need to... Homing Ying Ying Orb. Tomaku that always hits its target since it has a homing properties. Amaka will never miss with this equipped. I'm not sure how reliable that is, but you know what? That's a pretty awesome thing to have. So let's give it to someone who likes to... Let's do. Let's give it to Kokuma. There you go. So Kokuma will be our Damaku person. Damaku is fouling, if you guys aren't aware. Uh, fouling can be very, very useful whenever you're dealing with uh, players that are much stronger than you. Okay, so I think that takes care of all that. Let's go ahead and quickly save. We'll just save right there for now. And let's take a look at the shop. Okay. Oh, look, it's speaking up for Kako. Um, Alright. Wow, it looks like they changed the order here. Alright, let's go ahead and start with Umbada. But first I need to actually move my fraps thing. Alright. Gloves. Uh, goalkeeper should always wear this kind of equipment. It's dangerous trying to save these killer shots barehanded. Gives you plus 10 catch, uh, punch and catch, which are both the abilities that you use to stop balls, with the exception of the special. Good luck charm. If you wear this bracelet, it seems that the ball will come to you often. A handy item that increases your intercepting ability. This will actually increase both intercept and block, which are essentially the same thing. Uh, block is what you use against um, shots. Intercept is what you use against passes. Power wrist. Uh, for the most part, block is not that useful, simply because you, your player is not very good at stopping special shots, usually. Um, power wrist. A traditional power up item. Power helps things such as critical rates. It also makes ground tackles and shots stronger. So this is actually a raw stat. This is like increasing your strength rather than a specific skill. And this influences what it says. Um, shots. 
It also influences the chance of your shot actually going through the net when you score a goal. <laughs> Which is just, you know, silly. Uh, spike Shoes, they're soccer players, so they should ha ha should at least have these equipped. Gives you plus 10 shot, which, you know, increases your ability to score goals. And Gale Boots, allows you to run like the wind. Be careful not to run out of breath. Um, now, this is one of the few items that actually has a negative trait to it. Um, all the items that increase speed also increase your dribble cost. So, well, this will increase your dribble speed by 5, which is actually a pretty decent amount. It'll increase your dribble cost by 10, which means you'll, t instead of using... For, uh, sorry. For example, uh, all the characters in our team right now have a dribble cost of 30, which means that every step they take on the field w while dribbling uh, costs them 3 guts. So if I increase my dribble cost by 10, it's going to go up to 40, which means I'm going to be spending 4 guts per step, which does add up pretty quickly. It's kind of just a trade-off. Um, you can go faster, but you tire quickly. Jack. Well, let's go ahead and start from the top. So we got access to five players. Ellie, Rikako, Kana, Lily White, and Jack. Ellie, a free spirit spirited gatekeeper of, for Dream Mansion, attacks by swinging her sick, uh, sickle. Her enthusiasm doesn't match her, uh, her ability. Specializes in defense. Uh, pretty cheap character. Um, that's about it. She's a pretty cheap character that has a special tackle. And that's about it. Um, better than nothing, usually. You know, better than a generic. Uh, besides that, she's just a low-tier character. Rikako pursues science, but is good in magic. Flies around on a rocket belt she built herself. Jumping in front of, uh, jumping in front of goal against her is useless. Um, so yeah, she has um, another cheap character. Um, she's pretty good if you have um, Wriggle because it unlocks some, it unlocks a special tackle for both of them. Uh, besides that, though, Rikako has a special pass that's reasonably okay. And I think that's about it. Uh, she also has a special... Uh... I know she has a rocket jump, but I don't remember what it was for. So I can't remember. I, I don't think it's a special intercept. Uh, Kana, the forgotten Portuguese girl, scares people with old tired tricks, has a high intercept stat. Um, another low tier character. Uh, what's funny about Kana is if you get her along with the three Prism River, River Sisters, she actually has a special 1-2 with all four characters, which is pretty amusing. Uh, besides that, she just has a special intercept, and that's it. Her stats are relatively low. And now we actually have access to two goalies. Lily White, the fairy that heralds the arrival of spring, sometimes she serves as a goalkeeper, has decent stats and a strong special technique. Uh, Lily White and Lily Black are essentially the same character as far as goalkeeper is concerned. They're just, their stats are slightly different, like they're flipped or something like that. Um, she's essentially an average goalkeeper. Um, if you have her, she, you'll have access to her special uh, intercept, which is like, I don't remember, like spiral intercept or something like that. And it's reasonably okay. It stops most, it could stop some low tier um, special shots, a lot, and sometimes even a mid tier uh, special shot. So. If anything, she's better than a generic. And then there's Jack. After short ventures into action RPGs and 3D fighters, she has settled to a goalkeeper position. By the way, how? Uh, by the way, however you look at it, Jack isn't a Chinese name. Uh, this is a joke from the Bei Ling uh, sub scenario, where she becomes instead of becoming China as a goalkeeper, she becomes Jack. Jack is essentially the worst goalkeeper, um, but slight, just a smidge. Tiny smidge better than a generic. That's it. Her stats are just a little bit higher than a generic, and that's it. Cost only 100 money, but honestly, you're almost better just holding onto the 100 uh, money or gold, whatever. Uh, she has Jack has no special intercepts, so that is something else to make note of. So I think that takes care of everything. So you can either increase my goalkeeper's ability to uh, stop balls, increase your ability, to, uh, player's ability to intercept st uh, balls, increase. Uh, a player's overall strength, uh, increase a player's shot stat, or make a player go faster but tires quickly. And then for our special ca our characters, we have Ellie, who specializes in, um, has a special tackle, Rikako, who has a special um, pass, Kana, who has a special intercept, all these three are low tier characters, Lily White, who is an average goalkeeper, but very expensive as you can see. Uh, pretty much all goalkeepers in this game are expensive. The only ones that are cheap is Jack and China, for good reason. And of course, we have Jack. If you just if you don't feel like getting Lily White and you just want to give me a slightly better goalkeeper, there's Jack. I mean, like I said, there's Jack. 
But like I said, if uh, pretty much if someone ends up if I end up uh, someone voting for Lily White, I will have to roll randomly to see who gets picked. And uh, if I can't afford your character, I apologize. So I think that's it. Um, like always, just either vote for a player, an item, or choose don't spend your money. And uh, yeah, I, the participation for this uh, last vote was like much higher than the actual participation for the starting team. So I thank you guys for participating. And as always, just keep casting your votes. If your vote's already been taken or something, like from the last time, I'm not too concerned about it. Just cast your votes. If it becomes a situation where someone is constantly, you know, like someone's player's already been, you know, in included to the team, I may try to lean towards some car people that haven't had a chance to um, cast uh, cast their influence in the team. But honestly, that's just going to be something we'll deal with as we go along. So, by all means, even if you have voted before, vote as much as you want. This is the this is your team, guys. So do what you want with it. All right, I think that's about it. I am the depressed Dior, and as always, I will include in the description information about everything that's on on sale, as well as our current money and our current team setup. So until then, everyone, I, um, see you guys later.